weird. There we go. There we go. I think, are we good? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Haley on The Daily, and I thought we could just have a little chat for today's video. I basically have been radio silent for the past like three months, and I just wanna fill you guys in on what's been happening. Because the last year I saw me, me and Ingrid went to a museum and we took pictures and we went to a play. So I'm here to just tell you what's been going on for the past three months. So the main thing I've been doing is going to work every day. I work eight to five as a multimedia producer. That's my official title, which basically just means that I shoot and produce video content for a college. So we do all the live streams, we produce videos that professors or anyone on campus comes to us with an idea, we help, pro we help produce the video for them. It's going in the YouTube video. What's up guys? Today we're gonna be voting on what to call Haley's fans. Haley on daily, the dailiers? The, uh, uh the, the Dales. The Dales, what's up Dales? What's up Dales? And it's a lot of fun, honestly, we're starting this video out with like one of the biggest blessings in my life and I couldn't have asked for a better first job right out of school. The next thing on my list, if I'm like looking down, it's because I have a list on my phone. The next thing is I broke down and I bought an espresso machine. Delicious. Bro. I just made a good hot latte for the first time in my whole life. Bro, yeah, you I need one of these. And I think I just put Camille on yes. this machine too. And if you're feeling crazy, they're $118 <laughs> at, the wall, at the Walmart and Stillwater, so I'm just saying. So basically my friend Jaden finally broke through to me that I need an espresso machine. And not to be dramatic, but it has been life-changing. I make an iced vanilla latte pretty much every day at work. And it's so good. Ingrid and I also went to a concert in May. Santa I don't need a sleigh full of gifts There's only one thing on my Christmas list I want a cowgirl for Christmas this year We went to a Drake Milligan concert which we mention at the end of my last vlog Ingrid somehow saw him on Instagram and wanted to go to his concert and she had no idea that I saw him on America's Got Talent, which we ended up getting a picture with him afterwards too. So we literally got to meet Drake Milligan. So if you know who that is, then just, you know, like we low key were fangirling hard by the end of it. Um, we met one of his band members. We met the drummer of his band and took a picture with him too. And honestly, that was literally so much fun. Like we, we were going hard in there. After that, I went home to see my family, which is always so much fun. I love seeing Cheyenne's family, Zaylee Blair and her little sister, and of course my parents, just literally my whole immediate family, y'all, and some of my best friends. I go home to see them all. Yeah, I still go home a lot, and family's just really important to me, and they're pretty much my best friends. The last big thing that I wanted to mention about May is that I went on a date, which like feels like tea to say out loud, but I went out with someone I'm still going out with them. June rolls around and more work, more working at my job. The first thing we did was a math music video. Yes, you heard me right, a math music video. So that was very interesting and eventful. I almost finished my coffee bar, if you can see back there. I've had this little cabinet that I bought off Facebook Marketplace for ever. This coffee bar had been sitting in my garage since January. So the fact that I finally got it painted is like a huge thing to cross off my list. Um, I also thrifted a chair. In case you're not noticing a pattern, I've kind of become like a thrifty, like a thrifty thrifter, I don't even know. Facebook Marketplace is like my best friend for furnishing my house and 
that and thrift stores like i'm kind of obsessed but it's just it's so much fun to just buy something that like is old or like needs refinished and refinish it and it looks brand new and you probably bought it for like ten dollars like i don't know it's just it's so much fun and it's like one of my favorite things to do right now so i pretty much always have a project in my house which is fine right like Crafty, you know what I mean? So we went on a work camping trip. So we followed around the college camping, or er, the college camp club. I forget exactly what it was called. Camp Quest, I think. So that was really interesting, getting to spend like three solid days with three of my coworkers, which honestly, it was so much fun. <laughs> like that was a bonding experience for us. We listened to the math music video song about a hundred times. Sang karaoke, we bonded. It was a good time. They might tell you different stories, but it was a good time. Ingrid and I hung out again. We went to another one of my coworkers shows and we also ended up twinning, which was kind of on purpose and kind of not on purpose. She happened to pack like the perfect pink color that matched another shirt that I wanted to wear. And so we just decided to twin this day. We went to a coffee shop, which is pretty much our regular thing. I think we went thrifting. Did we go thrifting that day? We probably went thrifting. That's like our thing. So Ingrid's always so much fun to hang out with. One of my best friends. Cheyenne and her family came to town and my parents also came to town. We went to a trampoline park for the first time, which was crazy. No, you gotta fight with the sticks. It's just, ooh, 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 ooh. It was definitely fun just to see everyone jumping around and watch Zaley have a good time. I found out that I'm moving offices at work and I needed a smaller desk. The college has like its own surplus. And so I went with a couple of the engineers that are in our building and I found a desk and they told me that I could repaint it at work. So I spent like two weeks refinishing this desk. The last big thing that pretty much happened in June was Ingrid and I went to a wedding together and I helped her shoot it. I helped her, I helped her do photography for this wedding which was, it was really fun just to hang out with Ingrid, but it definitely felt weird to be taking pictures. And there was a couple of videographers there and I am so used to thinking like a videographer that it felt wrong that I wasn't getting the same footage that they were getting. But um, those two that we met were actually really cool. And it was interesting just to like kind of see their process while I was being a photographer for the day. And then July rolls around, which is where we are today. So the first things first of July, I had finally finished my desk, which I basically had to strip down the entire thing because the paint that I originally used literally would never dry. So I had to buy this, this latex, this like latex remover and take all of it off the top, took all of it off the front and the drawers and I repainted it. So it ended up taking me a week longer than I thought it was gonna take me. The next thing this month is I finally figured out like the best way to do heatless curls on my hair. They're called unicorn curls. So if you haven't heard of them, you basically take like this rod, this like silk rod and you put it in the middle of your head and you wrap your hair around it. And then I just sleep, I just sleep with it in. And it's the best because I can like move around. Like if I move around in my sleep, it doesn't come out. Like it's, it is, um, it's tight enough that it doesn't budge during the night. So that's like my new favorite way to curl my hair. And it literally creates better curls than if I curl my hair with a curling iron. And it's much healthier for my hair. So that's my, that's like one of my new favorite things or my new favorite ways to do my hair. Another update is that I bought another table off Facebook Marketplace. I know, no surprise. It's literally, it's actually behind this camera right now that I'm gonna put in my office because my desk now is literally like three times smaller than my desk was. So I need a place for my phone and like this little plant and I don't know, maybe something else. Another big thing is I, for the past two weeks, I have started working out again, which has been 
a challenge, but also really nice. Like I forgot how good it feels to work out. And I think after the first like two weeks, like now I want to work out. Like I'm already to the point where if I don't work out, like I kind of feel like I missed something about my day. I'm really sore today, actually. Um, but I think I've also learned that restarting is a lot harder than starting working out because when I started, it was like I had, there was no older version of me to compare myself to, but now I'm comparing myself to when I was like actually, like I actually had some muscle. So now I feel like I'm starting behind, but it's all good. I'm, it's all good because I'm trying to remind myself that working out is to feel, to feel better and to feel healthier. And it's not about like the way that my body looks afterwards. I went home to see my family again. My dad is building Zaylee, literally like her own full-size playhouse. Like either a little sitting area or her little kitchen play area where she puts all her toys. She'll have a little nightstand that she can just lay down on her bed. <laughs> so, and then when Haley comes home, she can have a sleepover with her. We'll put an air conditioner in down there. Is that a little bit extra? Is it a little bit crazy? Maybe, but it's also kind of amazing. And I'm kind of jealous that I don't live there anymore. So, like, I can't be a part of this all the time and all week long. But my dad is so cool. Like, honestly, I wish that I could just go outside and build something like, hello, I need to learn. Like, I would love to be able to just like, yeah, I'm just going to go build a house outside. No, getting to the end of July. Wait, what is it? It's literally July 13th. What am I even saying? July like just started. More dates. I've been going on more dates. We've been playing a lot of pickleball and just a lot of like physical activities, which honestly, I'm like enjoying a lot because for one, I can't be lazy. For two, it's just good for me to like not sit at my house and like do things. And I feel like I didn't even notice that I was being kind of lazy until we started going out, which like huge thank you to Mark for that because I'm like actually doing stuff with my life again, which I wasn't super inactive. I just definitely wasn't going as hard as I am now. Pickleball, oh my goodness. Can we just talk about the fact that I'm like low key obsessed with pickleball now? Like. I know that it's been going around on the internet for probably like what, four years now, three years, years. It's definitely been going around for like years. And I just was never like, I never thought, oh my gosh, yeah, like let's play pickleball. Like I thought that they were like overhyping it, but now I totally understand why everybody and their dog plays pickleball these days. And I'm a little sad that I'm this late to the party, but I'm just happy that I am a part of the party now, if you know what I'm saying. And then one of the last things that's been happening lately is I joined a summer Bible study over Jonah, which has been super interesting because I've always just kind of brushed past Jonah, even though it's a huge, it's a huge miracle in the Bible, like getting swallowed by a fish, like, huh? Um, So it's been really good to kind of do a deep dive into Jonah and also like convicting. I mean, just like, just the way that God moves through that story and like the people that he saves through someone who was running from God um, is just, yeah, it, it hits, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much everything that's been happening for the past three months, I would say, um, a lot of personal growth. I kind of feel like I'm coming out of a rut, actually, which I guess I didn't realize like how deep I was into like a little, a little rut. But like, I think just being more active and having more things to do outside of work has like kind of changed me a little bit mentally, at least lately. Um, I don't know, a lot more joyful, a lot more energy. Um, and just, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of growth. I think lately and one random really really random thing that I've kind of been like learning is how many problems are solved just by swallowing my pride no matter what conflict I'm in if I can literally just take a second to like humble myself and not think of myself higher I think it really like a resolution comes about a lot faster and also it just changes my mindset from being so self-centered and thinking about myself. That's pretty much it. That's really everything that's been happening lately. 
I am really thankful just for my life and where I am and all the people that have helped me get to where I am. And I'm, I'm excited to be back on YouTube and I'm hoping that I can continue to upload. And if I'm being fully transparent, there's a lot of reasons why I don't upload consistently. I'm not gonna lie. One thing being laziness, which, ew. Like, um, I don't wanna make any like false promises of how often I'm gonna upload. But I genuinely enjoy being on YouTube. I genuinely enjoy talking to the camera and just hanging out with whoever wants to hang out with me. That sounds so lame. But I definitely have some YouTubers that I like to just turn on and like listen to them talk. Like, maybe that's strange, I don't know. But I'm still here. I'm never gonna abandon YouTube fully. I might go, there might be some dry, some dry spouts, sprouts, some dry, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, but I'm also really picky about what I upload. And at this point, I'm just rambling. I'm literally just rambling right now. So, I think that's it. That's gonna be it for this video. I am also vlogging today, which, yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you guys are still here, you're literally amazing. And thank you so much for being here. I'm so thankful for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.